So this EC Congress clearly showed that we have excellent therapies for heart failure, reducing uh, outcomes, heart failure, hospitalization and death, and also quality of life. But still, uh, these medications and intervention are not used as they should be. So this Congress has a lot of topics and sessions dealing with the implementation. And the implementation is something which should be done very early. It should be done in the hospital after a decompensation because many people go out of the hospital with incomplete therapies. But now we know from several trials with SGLT2 inhibitors, also with ARNIs and of course with beta blockers, that implementation of these therapies in the hospital reduces the outcomes after discharge, which is a vulnerable phase in heart failure, where a lot of outcomes indeed occur. So this was indeed highlighted by several aspects and it is now clear and it was communicated to the public that one should start as early as possible and even within the hospital. Then the patients should be regular seen after discharge and that is another opportunity to implement therapies to increase intensity and in particular doses of the guideline directed medications and this was another topic that indeed the practical care of patients should focus on the regular visits of the patients, but also to the communication of patients to show him that indeed the guideline directed medications make sense because they reduce his outcomes, hospitalization rates, but also improve his quality of life and therefore also his social capabilities within family and friends. So that was a very, very important point. And of course, which is important for the treatment and implementation is to utilize new drugs and new therapies. And indeed, we have here the data presented from the fine art studies in patients with preserved ejection fraction. We have now for the first time, or we had for the first time, data with SGLT2 inhibitors um, that are the first medications who reduce outcomes in this particular group of patients. But this is now extended also to mineral corticoid antagonist. So the whole spectrum of heart failure with indeed uh, prognosis and outcome improving agents can be now extended to those patients who indeed have a, a preserved ejection fraction and that is new. That was one of the main topics and uh, that is important for the future. The final thing I would like to mention is when we have the drugs when we have guidelines for early implementation, we have to identify these patients. And a specific problem in identifying these patients are patients with preserved ejection fraction because they are suffering from a high load of comorbidities, more or less all leading to shortness of breath and eventually signs of symptoms of heart failure like edema, uh, fatigue and other things because hypertension, diabetes, obesity, physical inactivity, they have all in common that they share a lot of symptoms with heart failure and preserved ejection fraction. And in my personal view, this was the third highlights, which was covered in several symposia and educational sessions that patients with HFPF should be identified, and this is not hypertensive heart disease, as we called it 20 years back, as we have specific therapies, there should be really a consequent and rigorous diagnosis of this condition.